you welcome back and we were on module zero introduction and review of prerequisites and we were discussing human musculoskeletal system in the last session we discussed uh, anatomical planes and now we are going to discuss types of bones learning objectives of this uh, lecture include understand basic functions of skeletal system differentiate among four types of bones so we have long bones we have short bones we have flat bones and we have irregular bones so we will see examples of four types of bones as well references for this uh, uh, lecture are the same as we saw in the previous segment so these two books are very good resource to understand human anatomy and they are written in very easy words so this is specifically on anatomy and this book is on physiology especially with respect to human factors in general now human skeletal system is very beautiful actually and one of the beauties is that it is bilaterally symmetrical human skeletal system is bilaterally symmetrical bilaterally symmetrical that is left and right are mirror images left and right of the human skeleton are mirror images apart from a few middle bones such as mandible and sternum and vertebrae all other bones are paired as a whole human skeleton is symmetrical so that is it is symmetrical about can i what you tell me it is symmetrical about medial plane so that that is one thing that human skeleton is symmetrical about about medial plane so we have a mirror image the right and left uh, parts of the human body about medial plane are mirror image they are symmetrical and most of the bones are in pairs for example we have a uh, say upper arm on the right side so there is a mirror image on the Uh, on the right and left both sides so we have lower arm on the right two bones so there are two bones on the left for example and similarly all bones are actually the same the structure of hand is the same both for right hand and left hand similarly the upper leg two bones of the lower leg and the feet and same about the ribs so as a whole same about the face as well so as a whole our our skeletal system is uh, symmetric and many bones especially uh, the ribs and the bones of the upper extremities and lower extremities uh, they are in pairs so you can observe similar things in the posterior view and that was the anterior view the front view of the skeletal system so you can observe the same things in the posterior view and that is the lateral or side view so the skeletal system can be divided into two parts one is what is called axial skeleton and other is called appendicular skeleton so what is shown in not exactly blue but you can say it is highlighted here that is the axial skeleton so that is the central skeleton so that is uh, your skull your bones of your for example face and jaws and your backbone and ribs so that is your axial skeleton and what remains is that is your collar bone and your upper extremities and your lower extremities as well as pelvis that is what is called appendicular skeleton so axial skeleton is called axial because that is the central part of the skeletal system and appendicular skeleton is called appendicular because it is appended or attached to the axial skeleton so sort of axial skeleton is the basic skeleton and to that is attached your appendicular skeleton that is your your collar bone your upper extremities your shoulder blade as well uh, lower extremities and and the pelvis that is the appendicular skeleton 
the exit skeleton consists of skull thorax vertebral column versus a pendicular skeleton consists of upper extremities lower extremities and pelvis so structure there are 206 bones in the human skeleton in total these are grouped as the axial and appendicular skeletons as we saw so this is the axial skeleton as shown here it has 80 bones and consists of the skull skull the vertebrae and that is your backbone ribs and sternum sternum is this central chest bone and these are the ribs and in the center is your back so that is axial skeleton the appendicular skeleton has remaining 126 bones and consists of the limbs and their attachments so uh, your shoulder blade collar bone upper extremities lower extremities and pelvis functions of the skeletal system it supports and shapes the body. So shape of the body actually is because of the uh, skeletal system. But not only it shapes the body, but it also supports the body. The so strength to the structure is actually because of the skeletal system. Now at the interface of two bones are the joints. The joint is as such nothing separate, but that is the interface of two bones so uh, because of joints we move so degree of freedom actually or the range of motion or degrees of freedom is provided by by the joints and power for the movement of joint is provided by the muscles and source of that power is the food that we eat and that is a very very interesting relationship that we will see in the discussion on physiology bone serve as uh, musculature attachment as well so muscles attached to the to the bones. So as I just told you that degree of freedom is provided by the joints, but the power for the movement is provided by the muscles, and that power is provided through the attachment. So muscles attach uh, to bone through another structure that is called tendons. So tendons are actually T E N D U N. Tendons are the ending part of the muscle that attaches to the to the bone another function of the skeletal system is the protect protection for example skull protects the brain ribs protect heart and lungs so skeletal system actually protects the vital organs like brain heart lungs and <clears throat> other inner uh, inner organs Another function of the skeletal system is that it stores minerals like calcium and exchange um, these minerals with the blood. So that is also a very important function of the skeletal system. Storing mineral and exchanging it with the blood. And a certain proportion, certain, certain amount of these minerals in the blood is very important for proper functioning of humans. And finally, a very important function of skeletal stores bone marrow. And you all know that our red and white blood cells are formed in the bone marrow. So this was the uh, brief overview of the skeletal system. Uh, its structure, its two types, and its functions. So next, in the next segment, we will actually discuss the types of bones, starting with the with the long bones. Thank you very much.